1805, Lala, uh, Lala Wika oh, had a series of religious visions that transformed his life. He had a series of religious visions that had that transformed his life. Go ahead. Caused him to change his name to Tezcoata, uh -huh. meaning open door. Open door, because he was being shown things. Things are open to him. Go ahead. Visions. Go ahead. And led him to reject his old ways. And he, he repented, basically. He was a, a, a drunk. He was a, a whatever. And the Lord visited him, so he changed his name. He changed his name. He changed his name. Go ahead. He experienced his first vision in May of 1805 when he fell into unconsciousness during one of his alcoholic stupors. Right. And he was, was he was a drunk. Go ahead. And was thought to be dead. Unexpectedly, reviving as his body was being prepared for burial, yeah. he recounted a powerful vision of two different worlds. Mm. One filled with ample blessings for the virtuous ones one filled with ample blessings for the virtuous that means the blessings of god Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14 go ahead who lived as the master of life intended or the great spirit intended the god go ahead while the other world was filled with pain hardship and terror for those who refused to follow traditional tribal ways curses that's 15 to 68 go ahead don't move it while i'm reading Tenskawada became known as the prophet. He became known as the what? The prophet. The, like Geronimo was. The prophet. Go ahead. Began preaching and gathered a growing number of followers. He, he soon emerged as a powerful and influential spiritual leader. Now, I'm not saying this guy was holy and righteous and so far. I'm just showing you what, the, what he says the Lord showed him. Go ahead. Watch this. More visions follow in succeeding months. Months, including revelations that the European invaders from the east were the children of the evil spirit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You run that back, run that back, run that back. <laughs> Say it again. He soon emerged as a powerful, influential spiritual leader. More visions followed in succeeding months. More visions followed. He's an open door. More visions followed after that in the, in the, in the preceding months. Go ahead. Including... Revelations that the European invaders, that the European invaders are what from the east, from the east, from America, I mean, from um, Britain and so forth, Spain and so forth, from the east, go ahead, were the children of the evil spirit. The children of the evil spirit, children of the evil spirit. Yeah, I don't drop the balls. All right, children of the evil spirit. Go ahead. The prophets developing purification movement caused him to urge his followers to reject European habits such as consumption of alcohol and to return to their traditional ways. He wanted his people to reject the white man's customs. Reject what? The white man's customs. Christianity, reject the white man's customs. Go ahead. By forbidding marriages between Indians and whites, as well as the use of Euro-American Euro foods. So he was saying, listen, don't marry their women. Don't marry their women. Don't marry their men. Because the white man moved over here. He brought his family over here. The Native American men... We're also messing around with the women. And the white men were messing around with the Native American women. He was saying, stop doing that. That's not according to our tradition. And I showed you in these books, our tradition was the Bible. Go ahead. As well as the use of Euro-American food. Don't eat their food either. Go ahead. Clothing. And don't wear their clothes. And manufactured goods. Tenskawada also encourages people to follow traditional gender roles. Women as farmers, men as hunters, so, and oh, warriors. So Esau was pushing role reversal at that time. He was saying, maintain your role. Our job is to hunt and provide. Women take care of the, of the children and so forth. Read it again. Don't move it. Go back. Why are you moving? Um, come on, come on. Tensco, uh, Tensco, uh, you're American foods, clothing, uh -huh. and manufactured goods. Mm -hmm. Tenskawada also encourages people to follow traditional gender roles. To follow traditional gender roles. Go ahead. Women as farmers. Women were the ones that dealt with the, the farming, agriculture. Go ahead. Men as hunters. The men were hunters. And warriors. And fighters. The men were the hunters and the fighters. Go ahead. Tenskawada proved to be harsh, even brutal in he, his treatment. He was what? Tenskawada proved to be harsh, even brutal. And his treatment of those who opposed him and his teaching. He ain't pay no games. Nick, don't it sound like Nehemiah? Yeah, he sounded like a prophet. Yeah. He, their hair. he ain't play. He, he didn't play. Like he sounded like Samuel. <laughs> Go ahead. 
He accused his detractors and anyone who associated with settlers of witchcraft. He accused his detractors, those who left and those who dealt with white folks. He accused these guys of evil as hell of being witches. Go ahead. Including Indians who had converted to Christianity. Including what? Indians who converted to Christianity. He called them witches. He <laughs> called them witches. And he's right. He was right. Go ahead. For Tuscawada, Indian witches remained the most active agents of the evil spirits on earth. And he sought to identify and destroy them. Damn. That's it. Oh. Dang, that's all I want. That, that, that thing, this, this dude, this dude signed the most I was doing with him. Yeah, part of it says uh, Proverbs 231, envy not, not the, oppressor, the oppressor and choose none, none of his, his ways. ways. Yep. And that's what he was pushing. Dang. He was pushing that. All right? So you Around 1905. These lines are from Park, Parker's translation. So this is what he saw. It says, Then said the beings addressing me, He who created the world at the beginning employed us to come to earth. Our visit now is not the only one we have made. Do not allow anyone to say that you have a great fortune in being able to rise again, meaning he was brought back, right, to tell the story. The favor of the four beings is not alone for you. So he's telling you everything, the gifts that we have or get from the Most High are not for us alone. It's for us to give to the others, all right? That's why you can't be selfish in this. It says the favor of the four beings is not alone for you. And the Creator is willing to help all mankind. We will uncover the evil upon the earth and show how men spoil the laws the great ruler has made. What laws? The laws that were set before our feet in Deuteronomy chapter 4. All right? Given by Moses to, the, to be given to the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? This is how you know the American Indians were Israelites. It says, four words tell a great story of wrong, and their creator is sad because of the trouble they bring. Who's the they? The Greeks, the Romans, the British, the Russians, the Germans, the Spaniards, the French, all right? All these men. And I'm going to go down here. This is page 235 and resume what he was saying. It says, uh, there was even a curious encounter with the Iraqis religion's main competitor. It appeared that his hands and feet were torn by iron nails. Who is this talking about? It's talking about Christ. Did he not say he was going to go and visit the scattered and bring them to one fold? This is then said the man, they slew me, so I have gone home to shut the doors of heaven that they may not see me again until the earth passes away. Now it is rumored that you, handsome lake, are but a talker with spirits. Now it is true that I am a spirit of him who was murdered. Now tell your people that they will become lost when they follow the ways of the white man. See that? Look at this. So Christ himself warns against Christianity. That's all I got to say. I ain't got nothing else to say. Don't you think? That this could be our fault. Who's us? Like, um, Englishman. Are you are you quite serious? Yes. I mean, this is what we do, isn't it? We've been doing this to people for years, people that know no better. To, to take a rest, George. No. What if this is punishment? Oh, it's not. Life doesn't work like that. <laughs> He's also Just think that work like that. what it would have been like Listen for carefully. a man in the jungle to have seen white people for the first time, to not have received friendship, but death, to be cut down by bullets. That is what we do. Mm -hmm. We move across the earth and we take land. Yeah, Esau. And we build railways, mm -hmm. machines, Esau knows. and smoke, mm -hmm. and metal. That's Esau. All in our own image. That is us. That's what Esau does. Thank you. We cut people down with bullets and fire. Esau. Yes, and all they have is stones and spears. That's just rubbish. Listen George. to Esau. Why? 
because it's just complete rubbish. Do you think that we bear some of the blame? No, to be perfectly honest, I don't know. <laughs> no. Who do you think is punishing us? God? Yes, my friend. Do you think friend. that's the same God that made us, also made them? Do you think that God created heaven and earth it and Mars? So. Well, who else? <laughs> God created Mars. Mm -hmm. this is and then all the little old ladies up on Mars, they, 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 they put on their, their best hats and they, and they go to church on a Sunday and they sing hymns and there's a little Martian Jesus and all the little Martian Romans nailed to a... Do it off again! See, that is the problem with you lot! You're always trying to see the other chap's side, which is fine okay. when you're sitting in your drawing room in, in Weybridge drinking sherry, but it doesn't wash when you are fighting for your life! Okay. That's going to be Easter on Judgment Day. What you're watching here is a clip from War of the Worlds. It's a, they've turned it into a BBC series, three-part series on a BBC. He can't Today stay is here. None December of us can. the 2nd, 2019. We have to leave. And as you know, H.G. Wells, when he made War of the Worlds, it wasn't about aliens. These are the Lord's angels in those chariots. So what he was, that discussion you just heard there was that there were two brothers discussing how what's happening to them in the War of the Worlds is a judgment from the Most High for all of the crimes that Esau went to the four corners of the world and committed. So they want to know what's happening to them in War of the Worlds. Have you ever seen the movie War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise? This is a three-part series on the BBC, started two weeks ago, called War of the Worlds. Today is December the 2nd, 2019. He's no better, Robbie. And what they were arguing worse. about was whether or not... What do you think they've got there? What's happening to them in this well, show, War of the Worlds, like is an almighty judgment from the Most High for the you? crimes that Esau committed on the four corners of the world to build his and kingdom in his own it. image. Ah, oh, tell you, Esau oh, knows what's going on. You, you Esau mean knows yes, his judgment is coming. Just culture it. Shalom. We'll put some scriptures. Well, I'm going to add some scriptures to this anyway. If yeah? I had access to someone, so that's sick. Thing. Shall not be a punished man. And he that speak of lies yes. shall perish. The Lord said what? And he that speak of lies. He that speak of lies. Come on. Shall perish. What's to him? Shall perish. Shall perish, man. That's it for the Lord. So you better wake the hell up, man. All this stuff going on. All of uh, uh, Donald Trump down there declaring World War III right in your face. Right. Right, give me that, uh, Joel 3 and 9. Joel 3 and 9, you give me uh, the second one was passed. Right, Joel 3 and 9 and the second one was passed. He declared World War III, said everything from Obama, he's overturning. But the man don't realize he about to leave the damn country to World War III. Or maybe he does realize it and he don't care. <laughs> Right? Because that's part of making America great again. The program of the Illuminati. To destroy 90% of the Earth's population. Right? With nuclear war. So yeah, bring it on. Because that's biblical prophecy anyway. And it's about time you niggas got a leader like Donald Trump so you can wake the hell up. Right. So you can put a bat inside your damn head and so you can get back in the cotton field so you can wake the hell up, man. Right? Read what you got, brother. Read. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. The Lord said, make a proclamation among the Gentiles. Come on. Prepare war. You better get ready for war, man. Race wars, nuclear war, war between nations, war for your freedom. Well, you ain't got no damn freedom in America. Right? You still a damn slave. But you better get ready for war on all levels. The race wars are coming. Why you think they keep putting it on camera? They shoving it in your face. The white man is saying, listen, we're going to kill you Negroes. We're going to start the purge. And you niggas ain't gonna do nothing about it. We dare you to do something about it. Right. That's why they shooting you and killing you and shoving it in your face on camera. And you can't do a damn thing about it. Go, brother. Wake up the mighty man. What did I say? Wake up the mighty man. No time for cowards and sissies, man. We don't need no Ray Lewis niggas around. All right, no Ray Lewis niggas around taking uh, two knees and bowing and crying and sipping. Right, I'd rather just take the damn murder charge than to damn be a sellout for the white man. Right. Just give me the murder charge, man. But he gonna coon and tap dance because he feel they got him. They got him in a compromising position, so he got a coon for master. Right, guys. Let all the men of war draw near. And then uh, Donald Trump just he just decertified that uh, agreement with Iran. He said you yeah. got 60 days to comply. Yeah. 60 days. He gave Iran a 60 day notice. Right. And it's already tension with North Korea. So it's about to get turned up to World War III. So we need to repent and come back to the most high and separate from the society. You niggas think you're going to love America? No. Your dream of a damn president helping you, that went out with Obama. 
And if you notice, everything Obama implemented, yeah, Trump is overturning. Right. Trump is overturning on. So your fantasy of the black president, uh -huh. the white man came in and said, let's make white America great again. Not America, he means white America great right. again. Go, brother. Let them come up. Go ahead. Beat your plowshares in the sword. The Lord said, get ready for war, man. It's not a time to play games and laugh and try to get along. Beat your plowshares into swords. Go ahead. And your pruning hooks into spears. And your pruning hooks into spears. Go ahead. Let the weak say, I am strong. What did the Lord say? Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Especially you black, Latino, and Native American men. Right? Where's my mama? That nigga in the tree was bucking. I forgot about that nigga though. Well, that's a prime example. All right. <laughs> Let the weak say I'm strong. Right? Go ahead. See, the, the, the so-called black man, he don't know where to put his energy at. He don't know where to put all that energy and all that bravado or whatever it is. He don't know where to put it at. He gonna put it against another black or Latino man. Or think he gonna come up here saying something when well, he's not saying a damn thing. Right? Come on. Go ahead. This is ridiculous. That's ridiculous, man. Got they all got cut and got the press session over there now. That's ridiculous, man. But anyway, you see what the word of the Lord do to people, man? You see what the word do when they get destroyed? Right, but let's God. continue and read, brother. Read. Assemble yourselves and come. All so, ye so the Bible says, assemble and come together, all ye heathen. All the nations gather together and get ready for the third world's war. Right, come on. And gather yourselves together Go round about. Go ahead. To the cause thy mighty ones to come down. The Lord said, cause thy mighty ones to come down. But who are the mighty ones? The angels. The angels of God are the mighty ones. We are the ones that God called to come and teach the word, the messages on the earth, and you got the messages coming from heaven. <laughs> All right? Oh Lord. Let the heathen be weakened. See that? Let the heathen be weakened. It's a, a council of heathens over there. The white man, the Irish, everybody want to get together. Everybody want to conjure up for the word of the Lord rejects them. Uh, how long we been rejected? Bring it out. How long they been hating on us? Right. How long they been hanging and lynching and killing us? What's the latest brother that they killed in, uh, I think, Utah or something? Right. Riding away on a bike and they shot him. In the back. And now these devils are getting bolder and bolder. They put it on camera right in your face. Right. They hoping you Negroes do something because they ready for chaos, man. They ready for you to act up so they can throw you in a damn concentration camp, so they can kill you and pile you up in those coffins. Right. Right, but you don't want to organize and get your spirit and your mind right. You let the damn white man become Black Lives Matter now. That's what the Lord did that to mock you. How the hell is the white man all over? 90% of the damn Black Lives Matter marches is white people now. You devils are not privy to our struggle, man. I don't give a damn how much you try to come along and say, well, I'm going to help the Negro because I'm, I'm uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm subject to the Negro suffering also. Now you had this damn homosexual, this damn wigger homosexual Eminem, try to do a damn freestyle at the damn BET Award. Go ahead, Bob. Are you serious, man? Pull it out. Bring it First out. First of all, it was corny as hell. Right. Because you don't have no spirit. Give me the salt of the earth. Right. It was corny as hell. Right. Right, I seen, I seen for a white boy, I seen Eminem flow better than that. Right. There's no, there's no spirit to it. Right, right. Then he got a whole bunch of Negroes standing behind him. Go ahead, bring it out, bring it out. Like he's saying something, and I'm gonna hit you with something. Yeah. Eminem is fooling you, because that devil <laughs> gonna go right back to team white supremacy. That's right. A lot of people, even a white man broke down what Eminem did. He said he's capitalizing because his career is in shambles. Right. He's jumping on a Trump protest to try to bring, bring his career back. He ain't doing a damn thing. We don't need you, Eminem. Go ahead. The Stop. hell with you. Your ass was nothing but an agent brought into the rap industry anyway. <laughs> That's all you was. We know you came from Disney. We know the Illuminati set you up. We know that y'all killed Tupac and Biggie to bring your crack ass in. Woo. We know that, man. You ain't fooling nobody up here. Like a, a, a damn, a four minute freestyle is going to take up for 400 years of oppression. Right. A damn four minute freestyle. A four-minute BET freestyle right. is going to take up for 400 years of oppression. Right. Eminem, we don't need you. We don't give a damn how much you from 8 Mile. We don't need you, devil. Stay where the hell you at and wait to go in slavery. That's what you need to do, Eminem. <laughs> Be what you got, brother. Read. The Book of Read. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. That's some damn Eminem, some four-minute corny freestyle. He couldn't even get it together. 
Right. But he kept stopping and tripping up. Yes, right. yes. Right. He, he couldn't even get it together. Like he, like man, like he said something, something, man. You ain't saying a damn thing. We don't need no corny white boy damn wigger with some four minute whack freestyle that's supposed to make up for over 400 years of oppression. We don't need it. Eminem, go sit your five dollar ass down because we about to make change out of you, boy. Right, right. right God, brother, read. The book of Matthew chapter five, verse 13. Come on. Ye are the salt of the earth. The Bible says the Israelites are the salt of the earth. Everything we do, man, black, Latino, Native American people, everything we do is with flavor, man. Everybody try to mock us and copy us. So now Eminem said, I'm gonna jump on a bandwagon. Yes. Captain and protested, so I'm gonna jump bandwagon. I'm gonna jump on a let's save Negroes bandwagon for a minute. Man, as soon as the opportunity for white supremacy comes, he gonna jump right back on team white supremacy. Right, come on. But if the salt have lost its savor. The Lord said we have lost our savor. That's like salt getting stale and cold. It, it doesn't have any flavor to it anymore. If we don't know our nationality and our true identity and the true way to get up out of this condition, we have no flavor to us. Even, even in that, we still outdo all the nations though. Even in our ignorance, we're better than everybody else. Right. And everybody wanna be like us. We don't need you damn white people to try to come down and capitalize off of our stuff. No, we don't need you devils to so do that, man. Like you said, that was Yeah, it was whack, man. I see, I see better okay. stuff from Nick Cannon later on. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, that is so right. much. Yeah, Nick Cannon had a, had a uh, Nick Cannon had a, a freestyle yeah, about the better. flag or whatever. It was way better, man. Yeah. And I'm into something. Nick Cannon freestyle have more substance to it. Right. Right. Way that more. Have more substance like to it. Like you said, it had spirit in it. It had spirit in it, right? right. right. But his, that, that white boy wasn't saying a damn thing, man. <laughs> now, we don't need no damn Eminem to validate our struggle, man. Right. And you got a whole bunch of niggas standing behind you like, like you saying something. They should have been like, look, white boy, you on your own. <laughs> we didn't come up. We That's right, it's about hell yeah. Hell. We don't need you. We don't need you to uh, uh, validate us. Right. You stand up there by you. Go get a bunch of other uh, white. Remember, um, remember Eminem came into the awards with a hundred white boys behind him. Well, why you ain't doing it? Go wow. get some white boys to stand with you. Like, like you for our struggle. Listen, you so-called white people, stay in your lane. We don't need you. Every white people rob. Right. <laughs> white people right. rape. White people right. rape and rob. Right. You don't got the damn thing. You no. rape and rob. White people rape and rob. Come here, come here. Rape and rob. That's what you do. Be what you got, brother. Ye are the salt of the earth. What did I say? Ye are the salt of the earth. You white people, you rape and you rob. You don't rock. You rape and rob. Read, brother. Read. But if the salt have lost its savior, the Lord said we are the salt to the earth. If the salt lost its savior, God, we will shall it be salted. Yeah, man, you got a remnant of niggas that's gonna get tired of you, damn devils, man. That's right. A remnant that's gonna get tired of y'all. We're not gonna tolerate y'all anymore. This country is about to be divided. It's about to be the split wide open. Give me back Give me a topic. Uh oh. Yeah, give me a topic. Start right in your mouth. Right. And yeah. give me a topic and let's talk like a man. You're not a debate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, look, look, here is, here is a challenge for you. I'm challenging you, I'm calling you out. Uh -oh. for a challenge here, public debate, two minutes each. A minute each, you say three minutes each. Yeah. Represent your case, yeah. I represent mine. I lift the audience. Go ahead, ask him a question. Justice is served. Ask him a question. Kids, tell him to have a debate with me. Go in the middle, go in the middle. No, 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 no. 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 He, he talk, they don't. He knows, he's the learning man. He's the man of scriptures. You ain't fucking with Zabak. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh oh, ask him any questions. Give it a plug. Debate. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes each. I'm gonna debate all y'all. Two minutes each. You wanna debate stuff to stage? Two minutes each. Don't come in. No, no. Just focus on the back. Go ahead. The back guy. Like you whispered it. Go ahead. Two minutes. Two minutes each. Two minutes each. Go ahead. Two minutes each. No, that's not a Quran, brother. That's some Quran. other folly book that he Quran is so holy. I don't need to bring the Quran to the table. Brother, yeah, no, focus on the Quran. Go ahead, brother. You got two minutes, brother. Two brother, minutes. brother, let him go. Don't let him get away. Don't let him off the hook. Two let him go. Go ahead, brother. Now listen, now listen. Now wait, wait, now wait a minute, wait a minute. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now we tried this earlier, right? We tried this earlier. Right. We said two minutes each. Right. Now, 
Two minutes each. Yes, sir. You speak for two minutes, I respond. What? Right? Wanna... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right. Now, we tried this earlier, sure and did. I got witnesses here right. of what the Your result witnesses, they're false. I got witnesses here. What false the witnesses, really? your cousins. Well, let's try it again. Your cousins, look, 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 try it again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask me again. Go ahead. Two it's minutes. you. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you have a debate, first and foremost, we need to have a topic. Okay, the topic is, who are the chosen people? Right. Right. Now, you are telling me that's the topic? That's the topic, yes. No problem. Now, I'm asking you, where, because you're holding the King James, so we have to only put King James. Okay. See? Now, do not go somewhere else. Just the book you have is going to be our judge tonight. All right, brother? Who's keeping time? Yeah. Keep time. Hi. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Also, we have, <laughs> yeah, we have two game. minutes Play for the debate. Game. Wait a minute. You Play have something called a rebuttal. You see a rebuttal. You have a different Play timing. I'm down. I got let him give no, it two minutes. He's saying two minutes, but not yet. Two no, minutes is the debate. But the rebuttal, it should be less than that. Maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Just slow, brother. Yeah. Now, uh, 30 seconds, right. Now, after that, no. It, we haven't started the clock yet. Time's up. The clock started, the clock man. Started. Oh, oh, well, you want to rush me? You don't no, 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 no. You don't want to put the phone no, 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 no. You don't want to put the phone out. I'm giving put, you a fresh clock. I'm giving you a fresh clock. When you, when you ready, when you ready, I'm going to give you a fresh clock. Now we're talking. All right, let me know when you're ready and okay. then your time starts. No, because it's common sense. When you want to have a debate, you want to put the phone out. start, man. Just start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. So, okay, the time begins the top. The chosen, who are the chosen people? Right. So that's the first topic. That's the topic. All right. So let me I start from the Bible perspective, okay? Now the Bible it says that that the covenant was given to whom? To Isaac. Right. So because Abraham has Sarah gives Isaac right. and have Hagar give Ishmael. So you say no, that's not given to Ishmael. It was given to Isaac. We accept, right? Now what it means that the Israelites were choosing. Right from my perspective, for the Quran, he says, uh -oh. that and I'm going to give you a translation that he chosen <laughs> thee above all nations. That's right. Who That's what says that? That's what Who right. says that? The Quran. That's right. But That's you know, brother, that he's always stopped right there. He puts a full stop. He don't keep reading. Means it's out of context. You feel me? Right. Now God choose you. Yes, He did. For certain times, yes, he did. But when Moses left and 40 days he came back, you know what the Israelites were doing? Oh, they they doing? make a gold, a calf of gold, and worship him instead of Elohim. Right. See that? Now when That's they did the that, hit. when they did that, and then they start murdering prophets. What a man. Put corruption in land. So they were all godly, straightforward. God choose you, no problem. Now you miss around. God said, look, I hire you. you, you're not doing the right job, I fire you. Straightforward, logic talk. So, you were fired. Now, when Moses came back, he says, what are you doing? This is not the covenant of Abraham, you're worshiping a calf. You see, you attempt to kill the Israelites. Now, the Pharaoh came on you. Now, God sent Moses and his brother to do what? To save the Israelites from the Pharaoh. He also do you that favor. Yeah, 15 Not seconds only now. that. Alright, so let me conclude. So the choosing, it does not say over all the time. And you're taking things out of context. Therefore, yes, indeed, the Israelites were choosing, but for specific time, and they don't keep the covenants of Abraham, so they I lose the title. Right, right, there you go. Alright, now. Uh, two ahead. scriptures. I, I, I don't even need my whole two minutes. Two scriptures, um, First Kings ten and nine, and um, give me uh, Baruch three thirty six. All right, two scriptures. He said the point that he made was the Israelites were the chosen, but not forever. At a certain period, God cut us off from being the chosen. First Kings ten and nine. First Kings ten and nine. Read that. First Kings chapter ten, verse nine. Yeah. Read. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee. To set thee on the throne of Israel. So now the Queen of Sheba is telling Solomon, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel. God, 
because the Most High loved Israel forever. For how long? Forever. No, only for a time. Forever. It was temporary. Forever. The Lord said forever the Israelites are his he people. He said he loved them. Thank you. Loving and choosing is different. Yeah. They say he loved them forever. See, I can't, I can't get my two minutes. I can't get my two minutes. Let him, let him, let him. 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 My fault. Oh my God, but I was, he I was like 30 seconds into my two minutes. I agree, you're right, I'm fine. Let's be the, slot here. Got it. Uh, 10 and 10 and 9. Let's be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee. Go ahead. To set thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel. Go ahead. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. For how long? Forever. How long the Lord loved forever. Israel forever? And give me Isaiah 44, and what I'm gonna show you that we just chosen for that. No problem, right? go ahead. This is way after the golden calf in Moses, way after, right? Read. What does it prove? Right? But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what it proves. Right. Isaiah 44 so, 1. So far, go ahead. Go right, ahead. Isaiah 44 1. Way after the covenant of Moses, all right, he's letting us know that he loves us forever. Love and guess you. what? Years later, during the Babylonian Empire, during the time of Isaiah, what did he say about this? The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1. Go ahead. Yet now, O Jacob, my servant, Go ahead. and Israel, who I have chosen. Am I what? Who I have chosen. He said, Israel, who I have chosen. Way after the covenant. That. Wait a minute. He said that already. Wait a minute. That's Wait right. a minute. Right. Way right. after the covenant. Right. Way after Abraham, Moses, or anything. Way after the golden calf. Right. What did the Lord say? Yet now him, oh, oh Jacob, my servant. Jacob, my servant, come on. And Israel, whom I have chosen. And what? Whom I have chosen. Now Israel, whom I have chosen. Now bring it home. Revelation 21 and 1. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Revelation 21 and 1. Now, when John got a vision of the kingdom of heaven, who did he see in the kingdom of heaven? So now we went Old Testament, prophets, and now we're going to New Testament, and we're going to the end in the kingdom. Read. Revelation 21 and 1. Read. And I saw a new heaven. And a new earth. John said he saw a new heaven and a new Third earth. God. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed were passed away. Go ahead. And there were no more sea. Jump down to uh, 12. Revelation 21 and 12. Read. And had a great wall. A wall great and high. Now when John saw the kingdom of heaven after the destruction of this world as we know it. Go ahead. And had 12 gates. He had 12 gates in the kingdom. Go ahead. And at the gates, 12 angels. And at the gates, 12 angels. Go ahead. And names written thereon. And names written thereon. Go ahead. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So we're all. Wait, wait a minute. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> shake. Don't. When everything was said and done in a new kingdom, who did John see as God's chosen people and ruling the is kingdom? It it's the children I, it's of Israel. It's over time, time. All right, that's it. All right, so all that. the stuff. Right. Now is the rebuttal for me, 30 seconds. Start the time. Bingo. You said, I said to you, they were not choosing for us. So you repeat what I said. You caught me that here is the Bible says they were choosing. We already says that. Right. Here is somewhere says they were choosing. We already says that. But I'm talking about forever. He says that God loves. Listen, you know that God says in John 3:16, for God so loved the world. So he also loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him, he shall not have perish, but have an everlasting. So so far, I don't need all 30 seconds. You don't give no proofs to the folks that they were choosing forever, as we said. Although he says. He loved them. Yes, in other places says he loves other people. Facts. John 316. Hey, hey. What? Who is John 316? Who is John 316 talking to? You ask me questions and right. I reply you. Your turn. Right, John 3. Rebuttal. 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 Give him a rebuttal 30 seconds. Say John 3 and 1. Read. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 1. Go ahead. There was a name. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. He was a Nicodemus, a Pharisee, which was an Israelite, a Jew. Go ahead. A ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? A ruler of the Jews. A ruler of the Jews. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Go ahead. Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Go ahead. For no man can do these miracles. So he was talking to Jesus Christ, another Jew. Now give me the 14 verse. Real quick. Verse 14. Go ahead. And as Moses lifted up the serpent. As Moses lifted up the serpent, come on. In the wilderness. In the wilderness, go ahead. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Who did Moses lift up the serpent to in the wilderness? The Israelites. Come on. 
that that whatsoever believeth that whosoever God believeth in him believeth in him God should not perish should not perish God but have everlasting life but have everlasting life now who was who was Christ speaking about the Israelites just like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness to the Israelites whosoever amongst the Israelites you know what? for God so loved the world what world did he love for God so loved the world for God so loved the world, so God so loved the world. Get it? that he gave his only begotten son come on and whosoever Believe in him, so not perish, but have everlasting life. What world are you talking about? I see a few things. He's a big, big, big Israel. But Israel, God, in the Lord. Israel shall be saved in the Lord. We have everlasting salvation. With a what? Everlasting salvation. But we never said the Lord. We never said the Lord. Everlasting. Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With everlasting God. Salvation, go ahead. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So God said everlasting salvation is for the Israelites and the world that he loves is the Israelites. Cut to the heart. You don't know the Bible. But you do ever not know the Bible. You know what? I already feel because the audience Slow down. No, 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 no. You don't know the Bible. We just proved that the world is Israel and he loved Israel forever. The kingdom of God is Israel. He loved the world. Did he say he loved the world? But what world? I'm just trying to figure out what they're debating. The world is not talking about the planet. The world.